What comes to mind when I say the word purity? It can mean very different things to all of us. It's usually a word that coincides with sexual purity, but it's a lot more than just that. Purity means freedom from contamination. And you may be sitting here thinking that I don't know about the mistakes you've made or what you've done, but the truth is I may not know your story, but you're never too far gone where God won't find you. We see an example of this in the life of King David. David is known to us as a man after God's own heart. But before he had that title, he went through some difficult things. He sinned against God and made some grave mistakes. In Psalm 51:10, he cries out to the Lord, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. In Proverbs 17:3, the Passion Translation says that in the same way that gold and silver are refined by fire, the Lord purifies your hearts by the tests and trials of life. David's heart was purified by his trials and his repentance turned him back to God and align his heart and mind with the Father. Not only does he ask for a pure heart, but he asks for a steadfast spirit. And that word steadfast means someone who is firm and determined in a belief or position. David wants to stay unwavering in his faith so he doesn't give in to temptation again. And when we ask God to purify our heart, we're asking him to strip away all impurities. We're allowing God to take away the things that are distracting us. And often it is a painful process. But to get to that place of purity in heart, in mind, in body, and spirit, we have to allow the Lord to work in our lives. And no matter what you've done, you can come back to him. Jeremiah 29, 25 says that you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And we can take encouragement with this promise. If you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. He will help you live a life of purity in him. So let's pray. Dear God, I just thank you for everyone listening to this today. I thank you that no matter where they are, what they've done, or where they've been, God, that you are never too far away where we can't cry out to you and ask you for help. I pray that those seeking you would find you and that those that are trying to live a life of purity would be free from the contamination, free from the sin in their lives, and that whenever they face temptation, God, that you would give them a way out so that they can live in pure heart, mind, body, and spirit. Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.